today I'm on the Studer S41 from United Grinding and we're cutting more ceramic. If you guys didn't see the last videos, we had the really big pink ceramic that's utilized for a military application. Today it's a little bit smaller, but equally important, this is a mold for the food and beverage industry. So if you guys have ever drank out of a can or eaten out of a little cup, chances are this is the tool that's used to create that receptacle. So we're keeping in the theme of ceramics because they're so important in the industry right now. So we've seen it in the military application with the big peak ceramic that we did. There are also ceramic uses in the medical industry as well as the aerospace industry. Ceramics are super important because they don't change in different temperatures. It maintains its shape and the tolerance when it's hot and cold. Also, it has very high wear resistance. So when you're making tons of parts over and over again, the part's not gonna degrade. You're gonna keep the shape of whatever you're trying to form. So these are super important. Since this is ceramic and it's very hard, we need to use a super abrasive to be able to peel grind this. When I go into my wheel selection, it's gonna be a super abrasive, which is gonna be like a diamond or a CBN. Depending on your application, what you're trying to achieve, you're gonna to have to select the right wheel for the right job. When you're using ferrous materials, such as you know, steels and stainless, we want to use an aluminum oxide or maybe a harder wheel like a silicon carbide. When we're doing a non-ferrous material such as ceramic, it's very hard, which means we have to use a very hard super abrasive. We're gonna use the diamond wheel to cut this and it's gonna peel it like butter. We're gonna peel layer by layer until we get about a couple thousandths from our mean dimension. We're gonna come in with the finish operation, remove that last little bit of material at a slower feed rate to give us that really nice finish. To continue to cut freely, we're gonna dress our wheel with our wire dress EDM system. So we're using a Blazer GTC7 grinding oil that's being injected directly into the cut. That's gonna give us lubricity and extend our wheel life. It's also gonna extinguish any sparks that might come off the material. We've included a 3D printed nozzle to aid in injecting the oil directly into the cut. And this 3D printed nozzle actually contours the wheel so that we get the maximum amount of oil into that cut without any gaps. Whenever we're peel grinding, we're gonna use Studer Contour Pro, which is slightly different than your regular conventional like plunge grinding, which is all based on a conversational programming style. Uh, similar to like well, on the Walter, I'm gonna pick and choose what I wanna do and it's gonna create that toolpath for me. Well, since we're doing a profile, Studer Contour Pro allows us to select 2D geometry, set up the program to peel away the material. Cool, so the part's done, looks great. We had a critical diameter on here, it was 2.2 and we hit it exact. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and put them down below. If you guys have been making ceramic parts, what are you guys making? I would love to hear about it. Appreciate you guys stopping by and we'll see you next time.